Welcome to this tutorial on creating data collection modules. In our previous sessions, we discussed the process of creating discrete value groups, questions, associating discrete value groups to questions, and then creating the two question groups, vitals and body system. We then allocated all the questions for vitals question group that included the height, weight, temperature, etc. And we included all the questions into the body system question group, such as the body system of sight, response to the body system, and description of findings. Now we have two question groups in place, vitals and bodices. We now in this session will create a data collection module, which is nothing but an aggregation of question groups. We're going to create a data collection module by the name of PE, and we're going to associate the question groups vitals and PE underscore bodices to this data collection module so that we can go one step further in the design of the data entry screen. To do this, let's go into the global library. Let's go into the definition subsystem. Remember that data collection modules and data collection instruments are created using the definition subsystem and not the global library subsystem. This is because they are study level objects and they are created specifically for an individual study. To create a data collection module, click on the definition subsystem. Then click on data collection modules or DCMs. After this, click on the provisional DCMs module. This is used to create the data collection modules in a provisional mode so that you can make changes to the DCM later on. Click on provisional DCMs. This opens the provisional DCMs window and it will first ask you to choose a study for which you are creating the DCM. As I said, DCMs and DCIs are study level objects. Unlike the DBG's questions and question groups, which are created in the global library and are generic to all clinical studies. So when you create a DCM, it will ask you to choose a study for which you're creating it. In this case, we'll be creating it for the study that we designed in our earlier sessions. That is GSK triple one, GSK double zero one underscore triple Z. When you choose a study, the name of the study will be populated in the form title bar. Hence signifying that this is the study for which you're creating this DCM. Now, once you've, uh, once you've done that, the next step is to create the name of the DCM. The name of the DCM as per the case report form is PE. So the annotated name will be entered here, followed by our initials. The name of the DCM is a short name by which it is identified within uh, the Oracle clinical application. So we're going to identify this by PE double Z. This has to be four characters in length. Uh, that's, that's the maximum number of characters that is designated for the name of the DCM. The domain is the name of the study. Unlike in when we're creating DVGs questions and question groups, the domain name populated as training, which is the global library domain. Here, the domain gets populated at the as the name of the study for which you are creating that DCM. Let the status of the DCM be provisional. We leave it as status of provisional because we'd like to make some changes to it later on after testing our data entry screen and after testing our data collection module. So I've given a DCM name. I've given, a sh uh, I've given the name of the DCM. I've given the name by which it will be internally identified within the tables of the Oracle Clinical Database. 